hello there it's time for another Christmas card and I am been, I, you know I've just seen so many of those cards with the birch trees and I just love them but they're done with an embossing folder and I thought for sure I had it but I don't have it I can't find it so I came up with my own this is a silhouette cut and so is the little truck the little truck was a, a print and cut like this so that's where I got that and then what I did for the background is I took some watercolor paper and the first thing I'm going to do is heat emboss some white snowflakes on it and these snowflakes are from a raisin boat set that I've had for a while there are the little snowflakes on there and my heat emboss stuff looks awful but it's working so I'm just going to go over and put lots of snowflakes on the top part of this and then I'm going to use white embossing powder so I have some white embossing powder here that's um, from sweet stamps I don't know I've had all this stuff so long and the thing that really motivated me or that I really wanted to do is I have had these distress crayons from Tim Holtz since they came out and I've been looking at the oxys and thinking I have things I haven't even used I can't buy the oxys till I start using some of the other stuff that I have I got out some of my um, distress inks my little ones and they really didn't have they were starting to dry up I did squirt some of this re fresh stuff on it I don't know it's pretty old I don't know if it'll work or not so I have my snowflakes on in there I've kind of missed this one up here but that's okay so I'm going to let it cool off a little bit because what I'm going to do is use my crayons and some water and I have some deli paper here and what I did is I just took the crayon and rubbed it on the, here this is watercolor paper that is just from uh, one of these watercolor pads cut and I cut it to four by five and a quarter so that in the end I would have just a little bit of edge around it like this and then this is going to go on the top and this says all roads I'm sorry, at Christmas all roads lead home. This is, is a Dynamics die and the stamp is um, a Dynamics stamp set for my favorite things. It's one right there. So that's the way it's going to look when it's all done. And I think those are cooled off pretty good. And what I'm going to do is take some water and squirt it on here, squirt it on my crayon thing. Now I've tried this different ways. One of them I colored right on the cardstock and then took water and squirted it like that. And, and that was okay. I think I did that one that way too, but I didn't really get the snowflakes on first and I think I like this way best. So then this is pretty wet and I'm just gonna go over it like this. And the nice thing is if you need more color, you can just add it. I mean, you could do this with watercolors. You could do this with your Distress inks, too. I, um, you know, when I use my Distress inks and a dauber like this, I seem to get, like, big blobs. You know, like big circle blobs with the ink and so I can't always get it out so I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out I'm going to dry that I think I want to just go around the edges a little bit so I'm going to just take the crayon right to it then I'm going to take this stamp from Raisin Boat this one's Nature's Reflection I really like those trees and some bamboo leaves and stamp that on there and then I'm going to take my little car and my little truck. I'm going to put it like that and put a little blue on this 
by the trees. And this one I put gray down here for like a dirt road, but I keep changing my mind, so I, I really think this looks good. I'm going to get that on there. See, I'm going to put a little glue on it too because this watercolor paper is pretty porous. I tried it on just regular cardstock and it worked pretty good, but it really curls a lot. And I didn't really like that. Paper that I can tear. Is that one big enough? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is watercolor paper too. And I'm just tearing it so that it looks a little fuzzy. I hope I tore it enough. Yeah. I love the way when you color or stamp over the white embossing, it just doesn't, it resists. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to put that down there. And then I have um, these birch trees that I cut out for my silhouette. And I did, I made them a little bigger than what I need. So they, they're going to go in there like that. But first I have to color those. And I was having all kinds of trouble getting the right color. Then I found, okay, so this is London Fog. Let me see how that's working. I found that if I use my finger to do it, I liked it better. So now I want to put these on here. Now, I should really use a sticker maker, but I'm not sure where my little one is right at the moment. So I'm going to use some of this stamping up fine pen. Glue. If I want to put another little piece over here, it might look kind of cool too. Yeah, I like that better than this. <laughs> My goal with this was to make a flat, really flat card, so, you know, because of postage, but it doesn't really matter to me. And then with this at the top, that'll kind of finish off the bottom. And then this will finish off the top like that. I think I'm going to put them on a piece of craft cardstock like that. So that it says, all, at Christmas all roads lead to home. I think that's really a cute card. So when I get them all done, I'll... Be back. Here are my finished cards. I finished them um, over the weekend with a bunch of friends at a scrapbook weekend, but I do cards. So, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these cards. And I really like the way they turned out. And it just says, wishing you snowflakes, friendship and Christmas cheer. And then I had made a smudge with my ink, inky, oh, here comes Sophie, inky fingers, so I put some of the, some snowflakes on there that I used from another card. So that's my Christmas cards for this month. Um, I hope you'll join in the challenge. It's really a lot of fun. Come next November when you have all those handmade cards ready to send out to friends and family. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to see you over at your paper pantry. Bye.